Um, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> here in 2010 it's about 13 years one of my favorite things is uh, these late rides in the spring is being able to be in the actual communities uh, uh, neighborhoods uh, and with all the flowers coming up it's like I take my time a little bit longer uh, and it can actually explore the city a little bit rather than just um, commuting to work back and forth zoning out for half an hour it's, I'm actually engaged with the city uh, it's probably my favorite aspects of them oftentimes I, I'll change up my roots because of the of these greenways. I'll, there's about three different primary routes that I'll take uh, in all different greenways to see different parts of the city in different times of the year and whatnot. Probably the most fun ride I've been on is the naked bike ride. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the uh, naked bike ride. Yeah, uh, it happens every year and it's uh, technically a protest uh, against driving uh, and against fossil fuel usage. Uh, so we protest by removing our clothes, which is of course illegal unless we do it in a group setting so they can't rest us all and they allow it somehow I don't know and everybody just rides through the streets naked uh, and it's late at night so it's not really a huge disruption having to interact with drivers uh, is definitely the, the worst part of it You're, you are sharing the road um, and that comes with all types uh, there's bad drivers everywhere you have to interact with them on the streets and uh, so yeah had a few close calls with people not paying attention and um, that's rough uh, yeah any yeah, probably one specific ride was there was like two different drivers, different yeah times, and like I had to swerve to uh, be hit, and then yeah, one of the times it's like swerved and swerved into a pothole. So it's just, in general, not a good ride. Um, yeah, and that's probably my second uh, least favorite thing is all the potholes. We could definitely use some better maintenance, uh, improved maintenance, um, fixing potholes and street sweeps would be huge. Um, just yeah, keeping them clean and filled would be, I think would, yeah, be the number one thing, improvements. And then adding more, uh, I think, yeah, and especially the neighborhood where I live, uh, it's, there's only one road in and out. And it's close to the freeway, so you have to, it's hard to cross freeways on bikes, but uh, yeah, more, more the merrier would be better. <laughs> Definitely, it's interesting, even different mentality changing states. Uh, even within the state, go to Eastern Oregon, it's not bike friendly out there. Maybe in Bend, of course. But, uh, I feel like Portland's uh, still changing. They, for a while, have maybe said that they were bike centric, uh, maybe because of, like Earl Blumhauer was a very bike friendly senator, and uh, like got the bridge and whatnot. So it's, it's we have the appearance of being very bike friendly, and that's probably just in comparison to other American cities. Portland, I think it was maybe in the 80s, went through a big renovation of trying to uh, facilitate freeway traffic for Port City, understandably, and just no. Um, thought went towards bike infrastructure and uh, so the greenways have been a tool to integrate bike friendly st road structures and whatnot um, yeah because if you leave it just to single-use pathways there's uh, maybe four that go the outskirts of the, the city and uh, a couple that cross through so it's it's very necessary if you're trying to fully commute by bike to have these greenways <laughs> yeah, we have like the Portland interactive map, which is great showing the routes. But if you could actually plan routes with that, that'd be incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah kind of maybe mixed with Google Maps sort of thing. I kind of use uh, Google Maps and uh, the Portland bike map interactively. Where I'll, Google Maps will give me a route, and then I'll check: is this actually possible on a bike? Trying to integrate into a very traffic-driven city, uh, easy bike paths is not an easy chance without major innovation. So uh, we need things like uh, greenways uh, to be able to have adequate paths for bikes um, and all travels non-motorized whatnot it's nice seeing all the signs up um, that that's been cool uh, <laughs> even love the nice pun slow the flock down portland that was a good one uh, um, so yeah just hoping that uh, drivers can pay attention to those signs and know where bikes are and be aware we're all in this together yeah i don't know always assumed that uh, the other driver's not paying attention. I think that's probably the best. <laughs> yeah. yeah. People are very sidetracked these days. <laughs> <laughs>